All right, let's go over to Italy, Milan to be exact. Our ABC correspondent Herbert Banag will show us how he spends his time now that Italy is in a lockdown. Herbert? What's up guys and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Herbert Banog and I live in Milan, Italy. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to live here in Milan now that it's locked down for coronavirus. So guys, the cookies and milk actually was on my breakfast. I was really starving, so I didn't have choice and I needed to eat something. But actually, mom cooked me something and it's called maruya. It's made from banana and iba pang ingredients that I really don't know. <laughs> Before using your laptops or cell phone, alam ang gadgets na meron kayo, make sure guys na lagyan nyo muna ng alcohol just to make sure na walang virus bago nyo gamitin. So Italy shuts down all public and private offices, even commercial activities, except from supermarkets and pharmacies. La decisione giusta oggi è di restare a casa. The Italian government tonight put the entire country on lockdown. 16 million people has been under a virtual lockdown since yesterday. Things will remain this way until March 25, but it might get extended because we don't know if things get better or things worsen. So I hope it will get better. So this is what we call smart working because we're working from home. So after I finish drafting, I'm going to send it to my boss so he could check it. Five hours later. So I need to go to the shop to buy some food. People who go outside always need this form, always. Because if you get controlled by the police or someone from the government, you have this self-declaration that you know the preventive measures for coronavirus. I am going to use this one, Situazione di Necessità, because I need to buy food and that's a primary necessity. So you must have an identity card. And, oh. So it can be your license, passport, or identity card. Yeah, so I also have that. And especially, you need mask. One mask, two mask. Actually, this second mask is not really that helpful against virus, but you know, it's still better to have two than one, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you must always bring a sanitizer. Jacket. I'll be going on my bike, so it will be pretty cold outside. I really hope no one would control me because I look like a thief, actually. <laughs> I'm going to bring this big backpack. Yeah. I should go. Ciao. All the shops are closed. Look at this.
we still have the public transport, but they don't pass that often anymore. There are way too many people outside guys So the queue ends here And I have to go way around this building To enter the supermarket Can't believe just going to the shop will take this much time So pretty much every single shop is like this They have super long queues Hi. 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 The queue is getting longer and longer. People are actually right there. So I'm next, guys. So this is the end of the line, and I can enter now. like this before i remember a few weeks ago people did panic buying and emptied all shelves of pasta canned foods even milk beh ragazzi io non ci volevo credere però a quanto pare so i'm out and i'm going home now the queue took me longer than shopping. It became so hard to shop. I wasn't really expecting that the queue might be that long. I waited for almost one hour and guess what? I did the shopping for just like 30 minutes. <sighs> but the thing is that when I was inside, the workers weren't even looking at the people about the distance if it is respected because actually you must have like more than one meter of distance between you and another customer and they didn't even care. I hope that you learned something from this video and please guys take care of yourselves do the preventive measures thank you for watching and see you on my next vlog peace out